is the second half of our osteokinematic video, looking at the bottom half here. So first, uh, I want to start with the pelvis. So with the pelvis, we're going to have two osteokinematic motions, anterior and posterior pelvic tilts. So can you show them an anterior pelvic tilt? So the, the ASIS is going to move forward on this, and a posterior pelvic tilt, ASIS is going to move posteriorly. So not a lot of motion happening there, but we will talk about this a ton when we talk about the hip and how it affects the low back. So uh, now let's go ahead and show hip flexion and extension. So first hip flexion, and then hip extension. Awesome. Sorry, I got that chair a little too close to you. All right, face the camera here, and let's show abduction, abduction of the hip and adduction of the hip. Excellent. All right. And now for this next one, we're going to do hip internal and external rotation. Um, it's really hard to tell, but the femur is going to move in for internal rotation. So go ahead and move that femur in and then move it back out. Okay. Sometimes that can be hard to see. So here's a little trick, but the trick can confuse you if you're not paying attention. So go ahead and have a seat right there. <coughs> now, if you flex the knee, it's a little easier to see what's happening, but the foot is going to trick you. It's the opposite of where the foot is. So go ahead and externally rotate your hip here. So the foot is in, so it's, if the foot is in, it's external rotation. So come back to neutral. This is a little trick I like to ch uh, tell students. If you just put a little army man on here, go ahead and externally rotate. Whichever way the army man falls off, that is the rotation that's occurring. So if it falls outside, external, falls inside, internal rotation. All right, go ahead and stand back up for me. And then let's look at, let's face that way, and let's show them knee flexion and knee extension. Awesome. Piece of cake there at that knee. There's another motion at the knee. Uh, some rotation actually occurs for the screw hole mechanism. So the knee is not technically a hinge joint. It's a condyloid joint. Uh, and that was in the lecture on joints. So you should have already watched that. Uh, go ahead and scoot forward. Actually, I'm sorry. That's a different video. But let's have a seat and let's look at that ankle. <coughs> And we'll get more in depth on specifically which joints are working at the ankle here. But if we look at the subtalar joint, we're going to have inversion and eversion. So can you show them inversion? Inversion's like that right there going in. And then eversion coming back out. There you go. And then can you turn in the chair the other way and show them dorsiflexion, plantar flexion? Awesome. And just like with the fingers, the toes, we're going to do the same thing. If you could flex your toes, like you're grabbing, and extend your toes. Excellent. And they're also, if you're really good with them, you can abduct and adduct your toes as well. Anything your hands can do, your toes can also do osteokinematically. So you should be able to do that super easy on all osteokinematic motions of the body because that is the very basics of what we need to know and then apply a ton of other things to it. So there you go.